Hello there my YouTube friends Here we go again with another unboxing of a female character This time Jin Erso So I'm not going to show you the rest of the box because pretty much this is a standard box that black all the way around it doesn't even have star wars written on the top or bottom of this one so and this actually happens to be the deluxe version it's the mms 405 deluxe edition so we're gonna whip off this uh, top bit to reveal the inner part of it which i think is pretty damn nice this one i will turn around for you just a slight bit to show you it has a nice side to it the back has all the warnings and what have you on this side you can see has I think it's the same as the Jared Imry one I think that one had exactly the same style of box to it yeah so we slip that up and open her out oh and again we've got a, a nice inlay and again we've got a nice little bit of writing on here putting behind a check I'd passed by lending her skills to a greater cause. Jin Erso is impetuous, defiant and eager to bring the battle to the Empire. Used to operating alone, she finds higher purpose by taking on desperate mission for the Rebel Alliance. And then we'll drop this bit down and there we go guys. You can see that looks like there's plenty of stuff in there to get out and have a look at. So. Let's get out all the stuff that she's got and have a look. Again, guys, this one came from eBay and I got it at a reasonable price. So I was very, very happy with that. Had to wait a while for it, but I'm not worried. You know, I don't mind waiting a little bit when I know for a fact I'm getting it at a reasonable price. It's when you pay the stupid prices that some people are asking for them second hand. This, I'm pretty happy with by the looks of this, guys. Well guys, I mean look at the amount of stuff you get with this one. This is the you can see the deluxe version. So you are getting some amount of kit with it. I will have to have a look at the instructions for how some of it goes together because it's just an awful lot of stuff. But you can see here, and you'll see where these go on the character in a moment, but you get the spare sort of you get the buttons and what height to go on her, which I think is pretty cool even though I think it would be an absolute nightmare to try and friggin' fit. You know what I mean? You're trying to put a spot of super glue onto one of those things and try and keep hold of it to put in place. I think that would be an absolute nightmare to do. But it is absolutely fantastic that they do give you spares just in case. I think that is a really good touch. We have obviously the usual spare wrist pegs, which always, always appreciated. There's a boatload of gear here, which I'm going to actually look up before I mention what they are. But what I will do is go across here and we'll go. You get this that can go on the top of the base plate, which you can still see has a plastic coating on it, so it means it was brand spanking new. Yeah, but also the coating, this as you can see, has a roughness to it, where that bit smooth is out. But I like that. You know, your base plate itself, it's just a plastic base plate. No name thing in the front because you can see it's down here, which I'm going to show you in a moment. Which I think is absolutely a brilliant, brilliant touch that they've done. You do have obviously the crotch grabber as per the norm, which we don't usually try and like to use them if we can help it. This bit I think is a great touch. And you know, if you wanted to have the name, the name obviously is in metal, but it's just on its own and it'll stand on its own in front of her. Yeah, I think that is a brilliant little touch. For those that like to have the names of the characters there, I think all of them should have been done like that. You know, I think that would have been a great little touch. I probably would have used something similar like that myself, you know, because I do have a pretty, really bad memory for some things. So it would have been handy to have the things like this that I'm just put in front of the characters, and I think it would have absolutely mint. I think that is a fantastic touch. Hot Toys, that is brilliant. We have here a different style of sort of jacket type thing for it to wear to have different looks so i think that is pretty damn cool and you can see just how much detail 
it's gone into it, you know. Arms obviously go through that bit. But it's just that's the hood, which can be put up. Yeah, I think that is pretty damn cool. I can't remember which bit it's in in the movie, but it's obviously really, really cool that you get it. And of course, you've got these things which have a lot of damage to them. Yeah. I just think that is just well cool that you have stuff like this. You have this brilliant helmet, which you can see attaches via a magnet, so you must have to take a hair or something off in order to fit this up. I mean, you just look at the detail. Yeah. Anyone that sort of thinks these aren't worth the price you pay. You know, I'm oh mad. Let's just look at the amount of detail that goes into these things. Man, these are one sixth scale replicas of it, you know, and it's the amount of detail, the paintwork, and everything else like that. You know, it's incredible. This one still has the sort of foam in there to keep it in shape, which again was another sort of hat thing that you wore. I think that's pretty cool that you get all those things with it. This thing is tiny. Absolutely tiny guys. It's a tiny little necklace. That's your wall. Yeah. It's really cool that you've you can get that with it. We have a few different hands which thankfully if you look again they will actually get the right amount per thingy so they're like in sets. She does have one of these ones on her at the moment. A gun holding hand. Just again just stuck at the details in these things you know the stitching effect that's on there which is raised it's not just a paint effect it is sort of slightly raised yeah I just think it's phenomenal and the amount of detail that goes into these things and of course like I said to you before I see it on probably every one I do of the female characters. It's just, it's so. I think you look at how small the hands are. Yeah, it's so strange to think that none of these actresses have sort of fairly biggish hands. They all have those tiny, petite style hands. Yeah, but I think it's just really cool. I think it's great the amount of detail that can put into these things for such a small scale size. This I've got no idea again what it was off in the movie, but I just think that you know the details not that they put into these things is just phenomenal. You know, I think that's the probably the date I think that you had to remove and put the new one in at the end, I think, if I'm not mistaken, but yeah, I'm well, probably am mistaken, I don't know, for fact, somebody will probably say something, you're wrong, it's for this man, Pillock, but hey, you can see at the end of that, the, sort of the blue, sort of scorch, where it's sort of, getting burned, as it's been firing off, quite rapidly, yeah, I just think it is just, crazy, crazy details to them, and I just think it's beautiful, I really do think these are beautiful pieces, and you see, you've got quite a number, of guns here yeah I love these style ones I just think these are absolutely amazing and obviously this one was obviously gonna have been from one of the stormtroopers by the looks of it and the fact that this gun hilt comes out so you can actually rest it against your shoulder or you can even up against thing there you know it's just absolutely wicked And the fact that it closes back up. But this is the detail. It's just always about the amount of detail that they put in. It is phenomenal. They're just gorgeous. And of course we'll have this bit, which is basically a face mask. But again, I mean just look at how much details they put into these things, you know. It is crazy, crazy. Absolutely love it. Just absolutely love it. 
Uh, so you can have a few different looks to her. And let's have a look at what these things are. I, th I think one of these actually transforms into a it's like a sniper rifle style thing. But we'll have a look on the instructions and I'll get back to you and let you know. You can see here by the instructions what a couple of the pieces are for to make like the sort of the baton that she uses. So you can have that either extend or close and you can also put them into a uniform which there was bits. Got these few bits here which can literally take like you save if you left open and put it like or that bit can come open like so. That is pretty cool. Also found out that this bit here as well can go into there. So put that down here. And that bit, if you want to do that, this bit here can pull out. You can see. And that bit there. So you just keep on looking for it. That can slip into there. Button can open up and there you go. You've got a button. It's pretty cool. You can see here all those other bits can actually go onto the rifle, onto a pistol. You know, and you can make up actually four different styles with them. You know, so I think that is just pretty damn cool. And you, know, you can use a pistol and turn it into a rifle, turn it into a sniper. Or just have it as a sort of bigger style pistol there, you know. I think that is pretty damn cool, pretty wicked that they can do that, yeah. So all those bits and pieces there for that. And what I want to show you guys is the instructions that you're getting to show how the pistol can be transformed into more of the rifle. Okay, so this bottom one here, just take no. It's this one here you're looking at, okay, so it's you can see that bit. Can go into there either that bit or, or that bit can go into there to extend it this bit is supposed to slip over the top of here you can either put that bit in there or you can supposed to slip this bit onto there and then that bit attaches to the back okay so you can see how it's supposed to go and you're supposed to be able to do those four different variants okay now i've been bringing around with this for ages okay so you can see there, yeah, this bit you see, obviously, there's the sniper bit. So, that there, the way they've shown it, should technically go over the top of here, which it doesn't. Because if you look on here, there is no way that that bit there can slip into that bit there. There's nowhere for it to slip into. Okay, and I've been looking and looking and looking, there's just no way because that should technically go back and slit fit onto there like that see you can see how that that's how it's supposed to end up going but ain't no way that is going into there okay no way on god's green earth so the rest of the pits these bit this bit here can slip onto the back of there without any issue at all yeah boom and it's on see so that bit's no problem that that bit works fine it is interchangeable a stiff you can see there, and of course, this bit, I don't want to lose that bit, this bit can fit into there with no issue at all to make that part of the sniper rifle. Yes, yeah, so you can either have that bit in, or you can just have this, this snub nose bit in. Boom, like that. Them bits, no problem at all. It's the issue of that going onto that. Now, the only thing I can think of is that this here is supposed to come up because you can see how just here it's not attached to this back bit. See, it's not attached to there, but it's just you can see the pressure I'm putting on my fingers, and I ain't that isn't coming up at all. Okay, so whether it's been stuck into place, somebody's pushed it on too hard, and the last thing I want to do is break this because. You can see how it's already starting to bend slightly and misshapen because I've been trying to really get it off. You know, and I've actually grabbed it with my freaking tooth to literally try and get it off. 
it ain't coming off and I'm not going to break it completely just to show you what it looks like not when I'll end up taking it back apart and end up probably just having that in a bloody belt and using the other blaster pistol you know I'll probably have a holding that blaster pistol there you know if I could have gotten it apart to show you I would have done guys you know because you know me I like to show you how everything works but that's the only thing I can think of is that this is supposed to come off of there you know, that is supposed to break into leaving just this back end here from there this bit here all comes off but again if you look at the instructions do the instructions tell you to do that no by the looks of the instructions that is telling you that that bit stays in place and that top piece here fits supposed to fit over the top of it if you want to make the instructions clearer they should show that that bit's supposed to bloody come off if it's supposed to come off in order to fit it but it doesn't show you that so that's a bit stupid on their behalf if you ask me you know that it doesn't show you that if that's what it's supposed to do if that's supposed to come off plus it's literally i'm you can see the pressure i've got with my fingers there and that ain't coming off you know that, that just isn't coming off easily so you'd end up having to use pliers or something like that and hope you don't really break the damn thing which to me i need a good way to go so i ain't taking it off guys it's going to stay on there as it is you know, and I ain't going to show that part of it, so there you go, but that's how, that's that's my take on it, that's how I think it's supposed to go, but you know, if somebody already does know, maybe they can show it in their own video and, and show people how it's supposed to work, because I can't get it, get it work, and I ain't going to sort of pay about trying to do it, I'm not going to try and break it, just get it done, so now what we'll do, we'll go in and we'll have a look at the figure herself. Now I'm hoping, like me, you can see the likeness there, the Felicity Jones. I think that's a pretty damn good likeness, the facial features wise. Obviously you've got to remember the camera as well, sort of slightly alters the features a little bit, you know, so with the camera it may look sort of slightly darker or a face might look slightly fatter than actually what it is when you see it in person. That's what you've always got to watch for with these things, you know, when you're seeing people's reviews and you're seeing things like that, is you've got to think to yourself, sometimes the camera alters either the tone the slight coloration or actually the actual features themselves can make them sort of slightly plumper than what they actually are when you see them in person you see you have to realize that guys you know something that when you see a review and you think oh god that freaking face sculpt doesn't look that good yeah he's saying it looks great you know what i mean it is in the eye of the beholder guys when you actually got a hold of it in your hand it can look different to what it does on a camera okay that is one thing i will honestly say when it comes down to it she looks absolutely brilliant really does you know, on this camera she looks slightly different to what I can see. You know, maybe that's just the lighting, it's starting to get a little bit darker now, so perhaps that's just the lighting going. So you can have a look at what she's wearing. This is what she's got on when I got her. I think she looks pretty damn good. What she's got on. And like you say, when you look at the stuff you've got to go with it, it basically tells you you've got three different looks to her. Now I'm not going to go through what all those three different looks because that would make this video way, way too friggin' long and I'm just, people won't watch me videos to start with so if I've made a video that's like nearly three, three quarters of an hour long or more like Dean Knight does, people aren't going to watch me, you know, whereas people watch Dean Knight, I watch Dean Knight, I love, I love his reviews, you know, he goes very, very in depth. But I'm not going to do that because people aren't going to watch me, you know, if I go anything over 20 minutes, I have trouble with people watching them to start with, so I'm not going to go too much into it. All I'm going to do is give a quick rundown again on the just sort of different quick aspects of it and then put out what I, what I fancy I'm wearing and then that'll be it. She'll go up with Chirrut Emery and that will be it done. So what we've got articulation wise, pretty much you can see she looks right down, but it is going to make that gap in the neck there which is something really you don't want too much of she can look up quite a nice way as well which is pretty damn good you know when you're talking about pretty much almost she can do almost like a flying style pose which is better than what most others are yeah you got flying characters that can't even do that. i can't even do that with me superman which is what i wanted to be able to do you know so that is wicked that you've got that much moving and obviously you can it, the head comes off very very easily because obviously they need it to be able to change the outfits and what have you so the head does come off easily shoulder wise you can see she actually raises 
up over slightly, which is pretty good. Yeah, most of them get stuck at 90 degrees. She's actually going above the 90 degrees. Yeah, so that's, that is pretty damn good. You're getting a decent amount of motion there. Forward motion. Yeah, you've got basically 90 degree angle. It's cool. Backward motion. Pretty much go 90 degrees backwards as well. Yeah. There is actually a slight butterfly joint in there. But it's stopped mainly by watch is wearing okay so that's what you've got to watch for with that the butterfly joint is there but watch is wearing it's going to sort of stop some of that elbow wise you can see there it's a double joint which is perfect it's what you really want in a character and you can see they would be unsightly if they weren't wearing clothes but the fact they're wearing clothes so what does it matter you know it's not going to worry you wrist wise spins you have some inward flexion but obviously again it's a case that it's due to wherever the peg happens to be sitting you just have to move your peg around to, to get whatever type of flexion you really do want out of her yeah so that is good that we've got full range of motion you know it gives you really good things so you can even have a bloody thing going behind her head it's like she's grabbing something so half the time you find that even trying to do something like that with the likes of a deadpool character is pretty hard because you'd like him to be able to do something like that in order to grab his katana from behind his back, so it's good that they've got them in these female characters. Yeah, so let's spin down and have a look at these. The waistline itself, it's a little bit more, you can see, yep, you've got some movement there. It's a movement battle, which is brilliant. It's what you like. And then, of course, we'll go to the hips itself. Basically, that's as far as you're going to get with the material and the pants, but it's good enough, I suppose. Flexion in the hip. And you can get it at 90 degrees, but it is flicking straight back down to roughly just above 45, I would say. Yeah, but maybe it's a 50, 50, 60 degree angle there on it. Backward flexion. Again, you're not getting much, that's the way Hot Toys make the characters, you know, you're not getting much back flexion in it. You do have a slight bit of movement tilting it, so that's pretty good. Knees wise, double bend. You see, yeah, cool double bend, so that's brilliant. Ankle wise, No, not much because of the fact that it's got the boots on, so it's stopping a lot of that. And you're getting no ankle flexion back and forth that way. So, again, you're getting no flexion back and forward or side to side because of the boots, which is a bit of a shame because there was a character that did have boots on that still managed to have a good amount of flexion on it. But that's what you're getting with this one, so that's what you put up with. But she's got a great, a great range of motion with everything else. She comes with a lot of accessories, which is the, the main thing, you know. You've got sort of th at least three different looks. But I would say you've probably got more because the chances are you could take this jacket off here, and you've got another look underneath that. You could possibly get this other jacket off as well, and you've got another look underneath that. Shipper movies didn't have those looks in the movies. But it's entirely up to you, you know what I mean? You've, you've got the ability to put something like this on her. You know, you've got your different hats. You know, so you can easily take it off. Take the hair off and put this hat on. Yeah, you can take it off. Put this down. I think this is actually a scarf, which I'll possibly put on her. Yourself, but that's a, I believe that is a scarf that goes over her. But you could actually put it on her head and have it as like a sort of a, a sand thingy for her. And of course, you've got this one that you're going to put on her. So you've got plenty of stuff there to do, plenty of stuff to put on her to change her look about for any particular reason that you'd want it to. Me, let's get a gun in her hand, let's get a few bits and pieces put on her and see how she looks then. 
so you can see guys that's one sort of particular look you can have about it you can see that i've got a couple of the items stashed in there that's where they go according to the instructions you can see i've put the helmet on her so for me i prefer her with her hair which we'll have here you can see again it's magnetized so i'm going to basically put this back on in a second before i put her away yeah, you see her holding the blaster pistol. She's also got what I presume is the sort of like the binocular style thing on her. Zoom down. She's got the other blaster pistol there in her pocket. Or should I say in her holster? You know, so spin it round. Oh, it's dropped off two seconds, man. You can see she's got the pistol. A one-handed pistol, blaster rifle pistol thing in her hand. Oh, that blaster pistol is there in its sheath, which that happens to be slight, it's just very so, it's ever so slightly magnetized. And of course, you turn it around and there's a baton hooked onto the back there. That's where she would carry a baton. And you can see how the, the neckerchief thing goes around the back here, it fits under there. So, I think that's pretty damn cool. And how good the helmet looks in the back. What we're going to do is we're going to take this hat off of her, put her hair back on, because I prefer her with her hair. Well, I, we'll have to hope that she stays upright a little bit when I do this, but all you got to do is basically grab a hold of her face. Boom, that comes off easy enough. You can see how it's magnetised on the top. And all you do is you put the hair on the correct way around. So just pull the hair apart, like so. Pull it apart that way, and boom sticks into place and there you go that is probably the look that i prefer if i can get it to stand on a going two feet for two seconds just while i finish up this review this is the last part guys for me it's, it's literally getting to stand up on that own because of the fact that it's so soft and cushioned what they're trying to stand on it, it just makes it all the more difficult for us to get it to stand up there you go i've got a wee and so what we'll do is I'll take you on a little sort of quick close-up roundup of that and then that will be done. You can see guys, very, very close up to the facial features and what high and I think she just she looks mint. She really does, she looks really, really good. You can see you've got so much and so many different styles you can have to her. You can see there she does have a necklace on as well. You can just make it out behind here as a necklace there. She has the things in her pocket now. This blaster rifle in the hand. I just think she looks absolutely brilliant, guys. I cannot wait to get her up there with Chirrut and have them pose together. You guys there, the all together. Chirrut and Jim Genuary. Genuary. Can I speak? There we go, guys. There you are. Pair them together. Chirrut Emery and Genuso together on a shelf. I think it's pretty dude. I just need to get her a look out towards Chirrut, I suppose. And I'll do it. Something a bit better. Looking at each other a little bit more, even though he can't see anyway, he's blind. But there we go, guys. Those two. We'll stay together on there. So guys, thanks very much for watching those that I've watched all the way through because this has probably been slightly longer one with it being a deluxe version. And I did want to show you more, but there's no way I'm just going to fuck around that much and risk breaking something. So, thanks very much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. You know, please comment down below if you want. And I will catch those that have come to the next one. In the next one, guys, this is the Bearded Nerdy Wolf, and I am out of here. So what I believe you were trying to say is thank you. Thank you? You're welcome. What? No, no, no. I, I didn't. I wasn't. Why would I ever <laughs> okay, say that? Okay. I mean... <laughs>